Hi, I'm Greg and I'm from Elusive Recording Studios and today's Technique Tuesday is we're going to be looking at how you can get good sounding vocals out of a cheap microphone. So this is a Sennheiser 835, which is about £70 handheld microphone. It's a bit like a short SM58. It's a dynamic microphone. And the reason we're looking at this is I've seen it on quite a few posts uh, recently on some of the Facebook groups. How can you get a good sound out of what microphone and what microphone should I buy and all these things. And loads of people have been saying, oh, you need to buy really, really expensive microphones. And I'm here to say, actually, as much as it's great to have a great valve or expensive condenser microphone to convey an idea, you can do that with, with cheaper tools. So that's what we're going to look at today. So follow me and we'll have a listen and anything that you want to write, put in the co comments beneath and let's have a look. So this is my Pro Tools session and there is the vocal track and here is the sorry one way around there's the vocal track and there is the dry vocal so first of all we're going to i'm going to play the song and listen to it with the dry vocals I was a That is the dry vocal, and you, if you're wondering, are they different takes? No, nope, they're exactly the same take. I literally have just duplicated the track, so I can A, B between the vocal, with the vocal with the effects, and the vocal dry. So now I'm going to play it back, but I'm going to play back the one with the effects that I've added, and then I'm going to talk through what I've used and how we've got to this result. How was I So there are the two vocal tracks, one with effects, one without. So first of all, you're probably going to be asking, oh, you know, did you use some really expensive fancy preamp? And the answer to that is no. I just used a pretty transparent mic pre that you'd find on pretty much any cheap interface. It's nothing particularly expensive expensive or special is the kind of thing that most of you will probably have at home. So this is just a scratch vocal that was put down by the artist to lay some ideas down and stuff like that. But it's still enough for me be, to be able to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about for today. So let's go to my mixer session and we'll talk through the things that I've got. So first of all, I've put Waves Tune on the vocals. So I'm going to bypass these and play them each one as I go through. I was a lion, you were part, part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. So using Waves Tune, I can effectively pitch correct the vocal and you can get a free demo. This is Waves equivalent of um, Auto Tune or Melodyne. And um, if you click in the description beneath, you will find a 
code to get 10% off any Waves plugins that you may wish to use. So, and that will help kind of me to continue doing videos like this. So there's the first plugin that I've used. It is the Waves Vocal Waves Tune plugin. So they do a full version, which is this one, but then they also do a light version. And to be honest with what I've done here, you would be able to do with a light version. So the next thing I've used is a deesser. So I'm using this because when it comes to the EQ, I'm gonna have to out crank the hell out of the top end on the mic because we've used a dynamic microphone, which are known for not having a particularly large amount of high frequency content. So we're gonna be using EQ to boost, you know, the, the, the shortcomings of the microphone. But with doing that, if we don't use a de we're going to end up with a lot of S's and a lot of sibilants and things like that, which we don't want on our recording because, you know, it just makes it sound amateurish. So I've kind of gone through and I've set the sibilants at the frequency at what I believe the sibilants will be. So if we hear that back. I was a lion, you were part, part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. And as you'll see, this fader will reduce every time it kind of hits that kind of frequency. So think of it like a compressor, but it's only compressing when it's being triggered by a particular frequency. So the next plugin, that is also by Waves. The next plugin is a SSL, a Solid State Logic plugin from SSL. And now this is where things kind of get pretty interesting. So I'll just bypass that and turn the, the compressor off. So here I have put a high pass filter. So 80 Hertz to kind of get rid of any handling noise because the singer did sing this with, whilst holding the mic, it literally, I think he even sang it sat down. So first of all, I've now boosted around three dB at 220 Hertz. I've done a couple of dB drop at 500 hertz. I put a 3 dB boost at 2.5k on a fairly wide Q or fairly wide band. The cut is, uh, sorry, is a, a bit narrower. Um, this is just a shelf. And then when we get to the top end, 10 dB boost on a high shelf at nearly 8k. So that is quite a considerable boost so let's hear that and i'll bypass it and activate it and as we go along i was a lion you were part, part of the plan but every single february with your arms across the tv we did you can hear quite a lot what i a difference there's certainly more top end within the vocals and then all I've done is I've used the output, I've dropped it down so I hear a difference in tone, not a difference in volume, because that can be uh, can be misleading, especially with compression that has auto gain, is that you hear it louder, so you immediately think louder is better rather than actually hearing the processing that you've done. So now I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna add the compression and then I'll talk you through what I've done. I was a lion, you were part, part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. So using just the SSL uh, channel strip compressor, I've got it on a fast attack. I've got it on a pretty fast release and I've set the threshold quite high, 6-1 ratio and I'm basically getting about between six and 10 dB of compression. I'm hitting this pretty hard because I, I just want it that kind of in your face kind of pop vocal sound. So that is that for the uh, EQ and compression. And now I'll, I've been using another Waves plugin, this being the uh, CLA 2A, which is Chris Lord Algie's uh, version of an LA-2A compressor. And this has been set to compress and you can see how much compression it is getting as I play it. I was a lion, you were part, part of the plan. 
But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. And you ask me why, why do I drink so much? I'm not actually compressing this pretty hard. I'm just kind of adding it just to kind of give it a bit of tone and a bit of leveling because ultimately LA stands for leveling amplifier. So that is on there. And then let's kind of just close some windows to say, get some real estate. I'm using vocal rider just to it, think of it as like a volume automation. I was a lying you upon part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. And you ask me wow, I do I drink so much. That is it's almost like doing the volume automation. It's a really good plugin that helps you create a level vocal without actually compressing and adding compression artifacts. It's uh, a much, much more transparent uh, type of leveling um, because it is like, boom, you know, moving the fader up for the loud parts and down. Sorry, yeah, up. Sorry, moving the fader down for the loud parts and up for the quiet parts. And then finally, I'm just using a delay by Isotope just to kind of give it that kind of produced sound. Lying you upon part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. That is the processing. I'm going to play it again. I'm just going to solo the vocals. I will turn the delay off just so you hear just the processing rather than the effect. And see for yourself which one do you, well, hear for yourself which one do you prefer. I was a lying you upon part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. And you ask me wow, why do I drink so much? I told you take a look around you cause there's a hole forever in your porch. I was a lying you were part, part of the plan. But every single February with your arms across the TV we did. So that is today's Technique Tuesday, how using some plugins and more importantly, how you use them can take, you know, a vocal sound from a cheap microphone recorded in, in a, a way that is, you know, that most of you will have at home. You can come away with results within a mix that I think sound really, really good. And I don't think any listener is going to go, oh, you've only used a really cheap microphone on that. It, it comes down to, it again, the tools that you use, it's more important how you use them. By all accounts, Bono from U2 uses an SM58 for his vocal mic. That is it. That's the microphone that sounds best for his voice. Most expensive doesn't mean necessarily the right tool for the right job. So trust your ears and don't be put off by things if they don't have an expensive price tag. So if you want me to talk about anything in particular, put in the comments beneath, smash the subscribe button, bell, thing, whatever, and we will see you on the next Technique Tuesday. So stay safe out there. See you again.